Welcome back. We are here looking at the US dollar indexes and we are this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, October 27, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. So, uh, Monday session was quite brutal. We broke down quite significantly. However, we we pulled back and are now trading just uh, just underneath the 50 moving average so at this point we most likely will go towards the 100 moving average at uh, 3300 uh, levels um, the world economy is in shambles at the moment uh, if that is quite a positive uh, conclusion of the world state of the world economy we see uh, the coronavirus is basically back and it's uh, worse than ever before. And uh, we haven't even gotten close to the uh, winter months yet. So um, this is going to be a long winter and it's going to be really brutal for the world economy. Um, subsequently, there is no stimulus and there is probably not going to be any stimulus before the US election. Um, and that is not a good sign. We can see what happened here this is basically the, the market screaming we basically need stimulus uh, in order for it to get this market to go higher and at this point there is very little hope that uh, there's going to be any movement on the stimulus bill before uh, before the election we may we may get a deal between Steve Mnuchin and Nancy Pelosi but it's highly unlikely that a bill um, will pass the U.S. Senate at this point. Uh, so, well, there's a lot of uncertainty. And if it's something that the Wall Street doesn't like, that is basically uncertainty. Um, so, at this point, expect this market to, go, market to go lower. Whether or not we break down as much as we did here, probably not. This was panic selling, uh, but we are not, the market is not as bullish as it used to be. It is not, sorry, it is not, we're not basically seeing uh, 10% or 5% increases in the market. The market has tried to rally uh, to, these, uh, to these highs and has broken down again. So in theory... This was a double top, but but we need to see this market go quite a lot lower in order to confirm that this um, oh, uh, not a double top. I'm sorry, but a, but a but a, a higher low. Uh, but we need to see this market fall significantly lower in order to confirm that. If that is the case, that means that the long term trend for this market is going to be not just sideways, but be negative, will go significantly lower from here. And that is that could be a sign of a long recession on, on the horizon, something that takes up to one or two years for this market to turn around. So I have done previous videos, if you look significantly further back, then this is not a sign of, of recession. This is the collapse from uh, end of uh, March until um, until um, the lows of this market was basically in, in, I think it was May, right? It was May. This is not a sign of a recession. This recession usually takes uh, takes uh, several months uh, to, uh, to occur. And if we go back towards, uh, get, get the months here, Yes, if we go back to the recession of 2008, 2009, or 2007, and so on, it started all the way back in 2007, and we did not bottom until 2009. It took two years for this market and the Great Recession to bottom. The same goes for the dot-com bubble. We started to go into a, to a recession, in, in, or this market started to, to decline, in 1999 
and didn't bottom until 2002. So it takes a long time. And this was not even close to what a recession basically looks like for the S&P 500. Um, furthermore, this is a fall of, or the dot-com bubble was a fall of uh, nearly 50%. Uh, the Great Recession was of uh, a collapse in the market of over 50%. We had a pullback here of around uh, 35%. So if we compare it to previous uh, re pull, uh, recessions, then that was not even close to that. So we may see in the long run the world economy is slipping into recession and uh, S&P having a gradual decline for the next uh, one or two years uh, until we basically bottom at minus 50%, uh, minus 75% or something like that. But in the short run, let's just stick to this, what is going to happen to this uh, to tomorrow's session, we'll most likely see this market uh, go a little bit lower. If you look at the technical indicators, and that is what we look at in this uh, in this channel is basically the technical indicators. MACD has crossed the signal line. The RSI is showing signs of weakness. The same goes for the CCI and same goes for the stochastic. And the Bollinger Band is quite close to the bottom here. So if you see the bottom of the Bollinger Band is just above the 100 moving average. And that could be a sign of where we will bottom at this point. A break below the 100 moving average opens the door to all to 1,000 no, 3,147 level. A balance from here opens the door to these highs of 3,545 and then to 3,593. So you look at the Dow Jones. Need to get rid of this. This. So we can see that the Dow Jones fell significantly. We found support at the 100 moving average at 27,288. Um, but the Dow Jones is still looking very weak. If you look at the technical indicators, they are also looking very uh, bearish at this point. Uh, both the MACD, the RSI, the, the CCI, the stochastic, uh, but the Bollinger Band is showing signs that we have basically reached the bottom of the Bollinger Band. And usually we have a pullback after that. If we pull back from here, then the 50 moving average will be resistant. Um, and I don't expect us to go much higher than this. Um, we need spilling stimulus or this market basically is screaming at more stimulus. And um, at this point, there's just not not going to be any stimulus before the election. That is, is highly unlikely. Uh, if we break above the 50 moving average, and that opens the door to uh, 28,000 or 29,000, and then to 29,000 or these highs of 29,138. But technical indicators are showing signs of weakness. And uh, at this point, it's probably best just to see where this market goes, how far it goes, uh, to the downside. So you look at NASDAQ. NASDAQ was more resilient. We broke below the, the, the 50 moving average quite significantly and then uh, ended up right underneath the 50 moving average. However, the technical indicators for the NASDAQ are also quite bearish at this point. We can see the back D uh, is, uh, is uh, pointed to lower levels. The RSI is quite flat, the CCI is pointed to low levels, and so is the uh, stochastic and the bullish band as well. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we went towards the the, the 100 moving average. Uh, this market is also screaming uh, for more stimulus, uh, and the, the tech stocks, most of them, were significantly hit and will most likely uh, fall a little bit further. Some of them have reached uh, support and uh, seem to be um, probably going to increase in the next uh, trading days, but some of them will fall significantly further. For example, Google is expected to fall 
uh, further. Uh, so at this point, 100 moving average should be support um, in the short run. If a break above here, then we'll find uh, resistance at the 12,191. So expect a lot of choppiness before the, uh, before the election, uh, as there is no stimulus bill um, in the horizon. There could be um, headlines that the stimulus bill is going to be confirmed before the election and of course that will basically skyrocket this market to the upside so this is not a market that you basically short this is a market that you buy on support uh, in order to to uh, to um, uh, buy at support and not sell because it is just technically just too risky so hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by hitting the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the bell button and the like button in order to see our newest videos. Good luck and thank you very much.